Ablekuma West constituency. Very soon they will just declare who the winner of the parliamentary as well as presidential election will be. Will it be Reverend Kweku Ado or Esla Orusu Ekufu? We will be getting the answer shortly. But NDC supporters are already jubilating in anticipation that their candidates, that Reverend Kweku Ado, will eventually be declared winner. Earlier, it was a chaotic scene as all of them were asking. Okay, so we are just about to declare the results. The election in Ablikuma West municipality has been brought to a successful end peacefully. Total population, that is 99,465. Valid votes cast, that is 58,441. Rejected for parliamentary, that is 351. I start with the presidential vote. The MPP had 24,776. 24,776 in the presidential vote. The NDC had 31,666. 31,666 in the presidential vote. Now to the parliamentary. Our first candidate, that is Ursula, had 26,575 votes. 26,575 votes. And now the next candidate, that is Kweku Ado, had 31,866 votes. 31,866 votes. Thank you. So they just declared winner of the Ablekuma West constituency. It will be Reverend Kweku Ado. Kuma West constituency. Already NDC supporters are jubilating here. Why are you so happy that your candidate has won? I'm so happy, Mommy, because Osla also have been our MP for three consecutive terms. And though she's done her, her best for the constituency, we need change. We were, we were expecting her to do more. But we need change. We need change. We need Reverend Kukwadu to come and continue on the job. For, for, for what are you expecting Reverend Ado to do for you? Uh, Reverend Kukwadu, we have um, in Glyphe, uh, 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 we have Glyphe uh, in the community. We have a Bola, Bola over there, in which it's it's creating a, a very problem for us. So we want Reverend Kukuado to work on that, so that we, we he clear that mess. He clear, he clear that mess for us. So I will shortly be speaking with the winner of Ablokuma West Constituency Parliamentary Reverend Kuku Ado. He is a Reverend Minister as well as an educationist. Reverend, congratulations. Congratulations to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What does this win mean to you as well as your constituents? I think this win is more humbling to me and I think it's more the constituents and you look at the people gathered here, the desire for change. You know, and so what it also means, whatever change that they need has become a responsibility that I have to take up. So in the end, they can have faith in the NDC government, have faith in me as their member of parliament, and also even have faith to live in Ablikuma West to help us make Ablikuma West a better place to live. There are lots of expectations from your constituents. What are you going to do for them? God be my helper. Whatever I promise them, I'm sure we'll get to do it. What did you promise? A good life and a good leadership. A leadership that you can trust. A leadership that is honest and a leadership that is impactful for the people of Ablikuma West. Now, Esla has been MP since 2012. Would you be working hand in hand with her? Would you consult her? You know, 
it's, it will surprise you to know, just a few minutes ago, I read on one of her, her Facebook writings how she's not the first person who is losing an election and that she will not tolerate any disrespect from anybody. And after all, she wasn't planning to run this year. So I don't think she expects to come and work in the Blue Bowers. Reverend, congratulations once again. Okay. So that is winner of the parliamentary election in the Blokuma West constituency, Reverend Kweku Ado. So what this means is that one less woman in parliament, Esla Owusu has been MP since 2012, but in 2024 she will no longer be member of parliament. And there are lots of expectations over here in the Ablekuma West constituency. Dina, I have here with me Dina Chum. She stood against Esla Wusu in 2016. She did not win, but she's here today. And congratulations to you and your party. Reverend Ado, what you couldn't do, he has been able to achieve this. What are your expectations from? My expectations are just simple. I trust him. He's been doing it even when he hasn't been elected. He gives water for free. Ablekuma West, you will testify for that. He gives scholarship to children. And so he will just continue what he's doing. I am so happy today that the foundation that has been laid, he has made solid and has been successful with it. We will all cooperate. Ablekuma West will always be with support him. Children will be there for him. Youth will be there for him. Especially the aged. We are all going to pray and support him. Our expectations are so huge, but we trust that with God's help, he is going to deliver. Thank you, the media. Thank you, Pablo Kumawes. Thank you, Ghana. Thank you, the world. We are now on it. Expectations of your new MP elect. A lot. The problem is so the problem is so the But I believe it's fine. That's what's so hard for this victory. And then at long last the victory is here. Look at his face. That's very required for you. He's here to help the youth of Hablik West. You can see. Look around. All you see is the youth of Hablik West. The hope has come. They've seen the light. We're getting rid of Hablik West Mugabe. I'm saying bye bye to her. We don't need it. We don't need her back in this constituency. If she comes back, what she will see will be more than what she saw last night. I'm promising her. This is the lion of Hablik West. Nobody. We've taken over our constituency. I'm done. So that's the situation here in the Ablekuma West constituency. There is a new entrant in Parliament, and it is going to be in the person of Reverend Kweku Ado.